So welcome back to the Rapid Weaver for Beginners course. In the first video we added our home page and set up the site title and slogan. In this video we're going to continue adding some more pages and look at how we can tweak the navigation and the page titles and things like that. So let's get started by adding another page. So click on the plus button and we're going to go down to all plugins and we're going to select the contact form. So as you'll see Rapid Weaver adds that page to our pages list and we're going to double click the untitled page title and call it contact me. And then before we look at customizing this contact form page, let's go to preview mode and you'll see that Rapid Weaver has built up a contact form for us where our visitors could fill out their details and send us an email. And what I want to point out as well, just to drill this in, if we open up the menu here, you'll see that we have the home page and the contact me page. So this navigation is built up automatically for you by Rapid Weaver. And we can change the titles at any time. Perhaps we only wanted this to say contact. And you'll notice that Rapid Weaver's preview updates. And if we show the menu again, you'll see that the title for that page has been updated. So before we go any further by adding content to our contact page, what we're actually going to be using for the rest of this uh, course is not Rapid Weaver's built-in preview mode here. We're going to be exclusively using Rapid Weaver's edit mode. What we're going to do instead to preview our site is use a Rapid Weaver 7 feature called Live External Preview. So to get to this feature you need to go to the File menu and then choose Preview Page in, and for me it says Safari, however this will say whichever default web browser you have installed, so it could be Firefox or Chrome. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Command-P. What that will do is open up your local Rapid Weaver website inside of Safari. And the workflow we're going to have is that we're going to preview our site inside of Safari, and then we're going to switch back to Rapid Weaver to make any edits. As we start adding more pages and more content to our site, you'll start to see the benefits of this more. However, one of the main benefits of doing this is when previewing our site inside of Safari, if we switch pages, so for example, now we're on the contact, if we go to the home page, you might have noticed in the background there, when we go back to Rapid Weaver, that the home page is then selected. So I can show you that here again. If we go to the contact page now, you'll see in the background Rapid Weaver updates and has the contact page selected for us. So the benefit of doing this is that as we go through our site and we look for any things that we want to change or update, Rapid Weaver will automatically have that page selected for us when we go back. So it's a big time saver and I would encourage you to start using the live external preview inside of Rapid Weaver instead of the built-in preview mode. Okay, with that being done and if you've got the live external preview set up, let's have a look at how we can add a header area above the form and some sidebar content to this page. So we'll go back to Rapid Weaver. And for the contact form page to add a header area, what we need to do is open up the page inspector. And then we'll go to the page specific settings on the last tab here. And actually what we can do is update our general information. So you'll need to make sure that the, all these details are correct. So for me, this would be Ben at RealMac Software. Dot com and I'll leave these as the defaults for now however next we'll look at the customizable text so here you'll see the header area what I'm going to actually have is a header that says get in touch and again this is a style text area so we can just use the styling or the formatting menu sorry and make things bold and center aligned or so on but before i do that i'm just going to drag in some dummy text so again i'm going to add the assets and i'm going to drop in 60 words this time okay and we can make that box a little bit bigger so as i said what i want to do is make this text larger so i'm going to say command b to make it bold and then command plus to increase the size and I think that'll do it. So we'll go back to Safari and the preview will update and you'll see that we have that header and our dummy text above our contact form. And if we wanted to add a separator like on the home page, we could go back here and add a horizontal rule again and not forget to ignore the formatting. So that was ignore formatting here or command period 
like so. Okay, now when we go back to Safari, Preview automatically updates for us, and we have that horizontal rule in there. Okay, so that's how we can add a header area to the contact form. Next, I'm going to quickly add some sidebar content, and I'm going to add a title of About Ben. And then I'm going to open up my assets folder again. I'm going to drop in the avatar of me, like so. And also, I think a little bit of text. So just maybe 30 words there. So pop that out of the way and drop that in there. And we'll go back to Safari. And there we can see that content has been added to the sidebar. Okay, so finally, before we add our about page, what I want to do is add a drop down menu to the form so that people can select why they're emailing me. So to do that, let's go back to RapidWeaver. We're going to add a new form element by clicking the plus button. And I'm going to say, what's this about? And the form type or the field type, sorry, is going to be a pop-up menu. So we'll select that. And then we need to add the pop-up menu options at the bottom here. So to add a new option to this pop-up menu, click the plus button here. And the first one I'm going to say is just saying hello. And then we'll add another one, which might be, I want to work with you. Okay, so these are the two options that will be displayed in this What's This About pop-up menu. Now, if we want to reorder the form fields, we can just drag and drop. So I might want this one in below the subject, for example, or even above the subject. Now, when we go back to Safari, you'll see that that form item has been added for us and we have a just saying hello or I want to work with you. So it's as simple as that to add additional form fields to the contact form. Okay, so that'll do it for the contact page. Next, we're going to continue on adding some more pages to our site. So click on the plus button again and we're going to go to all plugins and this time we're going to use the markdown plugin. And this page, as you might guess, allows you to use the Markdown formatting to add content to your page. So if you're unfamiliar with what Markdown is, if you go to the Page Inspector and then the Page Settings, you'll get a Markdown Cheat Sheet here. And this will give you some examples of how you can easily style text in the Markdown plugin. So for example, if we want a header at the top, we just use the pound sign. And then I could say perhaps about me. And then below that, we can just add some um, paragraph text. So again, I think I'm just going to drag in the Lorem Ipsum words here. So perhaps 30 words. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that a couple of times. And before we preview this, let's rename our page to About. And let's go over to Safari. And switch to the About page. And there you'll see we have that header applied and three paragraphs of text. So it's a nice simple way to add some styled text or some HTML formatted text actually to your RapidWeaver site. So Markdown is very popular formatting. If you don't want to use Markdown, I would suggest that you just stick with the styled text page for now. However, for us, what we're going to do here is add a horizontal rule with three dashes. And then I'm going to add a header three, for example. So we do three pound signs. And then I'm going to list out the RapidWeaver training courses that I've made over the previous year or so. So we'll have a heading of RapidWeaver training courses. And I'm going to have a bold section, so two stars. And then I'm going to say 2017. And then I'm going to have a unordered list or a list of the training courses that I've done or I'm going to complete this year. And the first one will be Rapid Weaver for Beginners. Then I haven't done any more this year yet, so we'll go back to 2016 and we'll fill out a couple that I did last year. So the Rapid Weaver SEO course. And the Rapid Weaver e commerce course. And then what else did we do? The foundation course. 
and the foundry course and what's new in Rapid Weaver 7 and that'll do it let's do one more we'll just say bold text and we'll say 2015 and we did powerful add-ons whoops and theme customization like so so if this looks a little bit strange to you basically what I've done here is added a header 3 so you can see here a heading and then I've made some bold text underneath that so two stars gives you bold as you can see here then I have done a list or an unordered list with a dash and then the title or the text for that list item as you can see here and then I've just repeated that twice for 2016 and 2015 okay so let's go to Safari and preview that and you'll see we have the text from before and then we have a header and a couple of unordered lists with headings above that as well so that's the markdown page in Rapid Weaver the last thing we'll do on this page is also add some sidebar content so go to the page inspector and then the sidebar tab and the title here will be get in touch again I'm going to have my avatar so I'm going to drag and drop that in there and I'm just going to add that dummy text again as well so we'll drag and drop that in there okay then we'll go back to Safari and preview that and you'll see that gets applied in the sidebar there okay the next thing I want to do is show you how you can reorganize your pages and update the order of the navigation here or the page order in the navigation so let's just go back to Rapid Weaver and to do that we can simply just drag and drop a page above the other one like so and when we go back to Safari and we open up our navigation you'll now see that we have home about and contact so to change that back we just drag the page below go back to Safari show the menu again and you'll see that's been updated so that's how you can reorder your pages in your navigation if you want to have sub pages what you can do is drag one page on top of the other and you'll see you get this arrow and an indentation so the about page is now a child of the contact page and what we need to do because that page doesn't exist anymore because we've made it a child we'll go back to the home page and we'll open up the menu and you'll now see that the about page is a child page of the contact page okay we're not going to be doing that for this series so I'm going to drag that back out as a top level menu and I'm going to put it at the bottom so below the contact page okay let's go back to Safari and make sure that's still working so we have our home about and contact now if we have a look at the URLs for these pages you'll see at the bottom left hand corner of the Safari window there we have contact hyphen form as the slug or the URL for this page so I can show you that in more detail if I go to the contact and then look at the URL you'll see that by default RapidWeaver has a contact hyphen form slug or folder name for this page now to change this folder name what we can do is go to RapidWeaver open up the page inspector go to the first tab and you'll see here a folder uh, form field and what we can do is just change this to anything we like now when you change this the URL for this page will change and RapidWeaver keeps track of this and will update any links to this page inside of your RapidWeaver website so for example on this we would probably only want this to say contact so I'm going to change the folder name to contact and then again for the about page uh, rather than having markdown which is the type of page that we've added I'm going to call this one about so when we go back to Safari now when we open up the navigation we should see that the contact form is on forward slash contact yep and you can see that in the bottom left hand corner there and the about page is on forward slash about so that's how you customize your URLs inside of RapidWeaver and it's good to update these URLs as early as possible in the process just so you don't need to come back and change the page URLs later on because you won't want to be coming back later on in six months and saying oh I want to change the folder name because anyone who has linked to that page previously that page is then going to be outdated or won't be able to be found by the web browser and you'll then have to start doing things like redirects 
So as I say, try and update these folder names to be correct as early on in the process as possible. Okay, with that being said, let's just go back to RapidWeaver, save our project, and I think that will do it for this video. In the next video, we'll start looking at how we can customize each page even further and start using some banner images and look at how we can update the theme styles so that we can change the things like colors and the site width to make the site more of our own or make the site more unique to us. Okay, so once you're ready, I'll see you in the next video.